my name is Natalie Lau, and I'm the Executive Director of the App Inventor Foundation. As we celebrate 15 years of the App Inventor Project's inception out of MIT and Google, we see that AI is impacting the world now more than ever, from healthcare to climate action and, of course, education. At MIT Rays and the App Inventor Foundation, we believe that the best way to teach students AI is through computational action. And that's why we've partnered to launch the Global AI Hackathon with the goal of empowering people from across the world to create AI apps that address real world problems in their lives and in their communities. The theme of this year's Global AI Hackathon were the UN SDGs or United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Now in its second year, the Global AI Hackathon continues to grow, and we've been blown away by the creativity, passion, and impact of this year's participants. We had 1,313 registrants, which is a 42% increase from last year. The median age was 17, with participants from 5 years old to 77 years old. Participants came from 86 different countries and regions, with 60% joining us from the developing world. The most used AI categories were generative AI at 68.5%, classification models at 39.5%, and speech and translation at 46.5%. And this year, the impact was clear. Over 90% of participants left the hackathon feeling empowered, inspired, and motivated to keep learning and creating with AI to make a positive difference in their communities. And without further ado, I'm excited to announce this year's Global AI Hackathon winners, starting with the Youth Team winner. Congratulations to Move to Heal from Turkey. Inspired by one of their team members' grandmother, Move to Heal is a mobile app that uses AI to help users perform physiotherapy exercises correctly at home. It combines PostNet-based pose detection with custom-trained classifiers to give real-time feedback and encouragement during each movement. Next, the Youth Individual winner is Rehab AI from Texas, USA. Congratulations! Facing a growing shortage of physicians in the US, Rehab AI offers a powerful solution an AI-driven app that transforms telerehab by accurately tracking, classifying, and scoring physical therapy exercises, empowering patients to recover independently and effectively at home. Now let's turn to our next category, the Adult Individual Winner. Congratulations to Recycle Easy from Venice, Italy. Inspired by his city, which welcomes millions of tourists each year, Recycle Easy uses AI powered by OpenAI's ChatGPT to identify recycling codes on packaging labels and match them to the correct materials and disposal bins, making waste sorting more accurate and accessible. Last but certainly not least, the winner of our All Ages Team category is Vision Cap, with team members from the USA and China. Aiming to reduce road accidents, Vision Cap is a mobile app designed to work with a smart helmet delivering real-time alerts, emergency notifications, and location sharing to enhance safety for walkers and cyclists. After careful review by our panel of judges, these winning projects really stood out and rose to the top. They demonstrated not only technical excellence, but also real-world impact and strong alignment to our theme. Again, huge congratulations to all of the winners. I look forward to seeing you all at MIT this summer. We'd also like to acknowledge a few honorable mentions. Although these projects didn't take home the top prize, their work truly impressed our judges, and they demonstrated exceptional potential. Amon, your virtual AI management. Kidney Buddy. Ikigai for teens. Sleep Fixer. I Speak and Arachnid. To every participant, mentor, teacher, supporter, thank you all for being a part of this year's Global AI Hackathon. Whether you just built your first app or your 50th, you're all helping create a more accessible and impactful future with technology. We cannot wait to see what you build next. See you again soon.